So in a previous video, I used this piece of kit here. Now this is a handle with an extending rod attached to a thimble, which is full of sulfur. And this is used with a candle to melt the sulfur for making sulfur or brimstone matches. Uh, the link to the video where I do that will be in the description if you haven't seen that. Uh, recently, I've had someone who saw that video who wanted to make one of these. Now, this is based on uh, a 19th century example that I once came across, and I replicated it. Uh, and my viewer wanted to know how to make one of these thimble spoons. And he was asking if he would use solder to fuse this to the metal rod. Well, this metal rod is actually a nail. And I used a nail because the nail head gives you a better surface area. Uh, but basically, I had two bits of mild steel to fuse to each other. And of course, if I used electrical solder, as soon as I tried to melt the sulfur inside this thimble, it would get hot enough to also melt the electrical solder and the whole head would have fallen off. So I didn't use that. I used silver solder because I use silver solder all the time. I'm a silver and goldsmith by profession, so that's just another day of the week for me. But also because it gives uh, a bond where that solder won't melt until you're well over 700 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's a really high temperature. We're talking about blowtorch temperatures there, not just a candle flame, which would just be a few hundred degrees. Easily hot enough to melt electrical solder, but nowhere near the temperature necessary to melt this. And frankly, this is the next best thing to a proper weld. In this video, I'll show you how I did that by taking two nails and fusing them head to head. Now, this could be used to bond mild steel to mild steel. Uh, it could be used to bond brass to brass or steel to brass. It's not just using for silver, but it is a good technique and it's a good material to use if you know how to do it. And I'm going to show you how. Stay tuned. So we've taken a piece of this material. This is silver hard solder. Now the silver hard solder has a melting point of between 745 and 778 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> so that's actually quite hot. Uh, as you can see, I've cut a tiny piece off using the wire cutters and have got it sitting on the nail head. I've also used, uh, applied with a brush, silver or flux. Um, basically, you need to use a precious metal flux. If you're going to use the kind of flux you would use in electrical soldering, it won't work. You'll, it'll be completely destroyed by the time you get up to the temp relevant temperatures. Precious metal solder is necessary. Now, I'm about to use um, a couple of blow torches here. Oops. Let's just fix that back in position. There we go. And I'm going to heat the head of this nail up until that goes red hot, it beads, and it melts flat. So without touching it, if we can see, we've got it partially melted there. So once that's cooled down a bit, we can do a bit more. I'm going to put some flux on the nail head that's going to be joined on, and maybe even a tad more flux there. Again, I've had to wait till that cools to room temperature or I'd burn the brush. But if we place these together, and we're using these locking tweezers set on clamps. And I want to bring it to a nice red hot and 
that's just about it. Um, when the silver is sort of liquefied, actually it actually pushed a little bit out, but then by pressing them together, it sort of capillarity pulled it back in there. And uh, we're going to let that cool for a second, but then we're going to have a look at how strong. So these are cooled now. And if I just clamp these with some pliers and start bending, uh, as you can see, that broke before the join did. So it is a really easy way to fuse two pieces of metal together and you do get a really strong join. Uh, I would go so far as to refer to it as to the next best thing to welding and as long as you are going to have a temperature say 500 degrees or less or 600 degrees or less 700 degrees or less a solder like that will absolutely be fine. If you're using an electrical solder by the time you hit 200 degrees, it's already falling apart. That's Celsius, mind. Uh, I would say this is a really great way of fusing metal. So I'm going to say that's what I did with this. Obviously, you do get a certain amount of fire stain. That could be removed with a very fine sandpaper. But in the case of this, where it's meant to be put into a candle flame, and it's going to get covered in soot anyway, that's really not an issue. Uh, on the other hand, where I've used... Uh, this sort of material to fuse two bits of brass together, uh, then I'll use sort of uh, upwards of 2000 grit sandpaper just to get a really nice finish and clean that off. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting, useful and helpful as always. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell icon to let us, you know, when the next video will drop. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good one.